brushing I'm going to use like a rag and probably put a clear coat onto the brush too uh I just like the feeling of you know just something that is kind of completed with a repair but I taped up the tip of this so that it's a little more uh with the with like chemicals like rubbing alcohol or something like that but yeah I would definitely try to you know just any random um you know pl plastic tape for now could be a, a decent uh you know next step to this duct tape is like double size sticky tape right now which is pretty useful but I kind of taped this up I've got to find a way to put lacquer thinner throughout this brush and unroll it but I've been taping it from the handle and just taping it all all around I'm just doing that just to kind of have a really uh you know this duct tape is really pretty nice actually since it's like double-sided but um i just don't have like a, i would actually have to like make a small plastic funnel and pour in uh the lacquer and like i met well this tool is you know designed to help uh clean up plastic or stickers uh, you never know. Add it with the de greaser, and it, it can be a pretty good uh, cleaning tool, basically. So, I've got this, uh, you know, and it does need lacquer on the handle. So, I'm gonna add that after the first coat. So this, uh, so I, you know, you know, basically, a lot of the lacquer got it, uh, you know, onto the bristles that are kind of inside of there. And stuff and it's going to just really harden up into like a really hard uh small scraper situation maybe like the tip of the the uh, tape could be pinched down to make a sharper edge and inside are going to be sharper brushes but uh yeah this is this might be in you know i'm pretty excited just because i, I got on there and the whole thing is just going to think um i could actually you know use them for the duffel bags uh you know just to see if it works and breaking down some of the gl extra glue and stuff so yeah hopefully those brushes could actually you know if they were going to work it would actually clean up some of this duffel bag you know just little small spots so i'm going to definitely try to test that out once that gets finished up and i'll see you guys later and it's going to be really helpful, you know, instead of, you know, not being sure, you know, which hand scrapers, which are pretty, which are kind of good and handy. And there's a few other small random tools and things that I'm working with in, in this little. So it's pretty complicated, you know, like after I make a video, I need to actually like, uh, I got to keep working off camera and and figure out with water or even spray a few uh, a couple of drops of this detergent or just a really diluted uh, hand wash and you know to make room for some jobs I have a bucket with a lid inside of my bathtub but hopefully it starts to soften up and you know but I could you know kind of feel that I could you know work and break down some of that stuff if I wanted to um pretty much reuse like some of these wooden pieces I could actually uh use that with the wooden table or for the foldable table I just don't have any surface you know or just any space right now and, and the table is fine but uh finishing up cleaning some of this I also or I also sourced out like another brush but it's not as, uh, you know, thick or anything, but another brush for lacquer. Um, maybe clean out a few, clean up a few things and then trying to, uh, just pretty much sort out. Uh, I've got pretty much my electronics, small, small electronics kit in here that's going inside of a duffel bag. 
and stuff and sorting out pretty much a, a random pile of random pile of stuff i even had to like go into the bottom of the pile and get the small box with a bunch of hand scrapers which are pretty which are kind of good and handy and there's a few other small random tools and things that i'm working with in in this little pile of stuff but yeah it's pretty much um you know just repairing this was kind of a big thing uh, over the weekend and I finally put some glue uh, you know met you know just, I, I had to figure out which glue I was going to use and then uh, you know plan out how I'm gonna apply it and touch up paint a few things but a lot of the gaps and things are filled in you know by not seeing any air bubbles and it's gonna add some material in this area for a it might not repair it the uh, fabric might peel off but it's going to add a lot of material to to actually do a decent repair i gotta get a really nice uh, clean spatula somehow i might use like a metal small hinge or something i might be able to use this uh, small piece to help spread any of the crazy glue or anything uh, not too bad, you know, and especially with working with five minute epoxy, um, you know, this is pretty convenient to help scrape up any extra glue and things like that. And I could use different angles of the, and pretty much makes a pretty nice tool for spreading glue and scraping epoxy. So basically, I, I made the got a piece of tape or a roll of t uh, something else to kind of push up in a certain area. Just keep this uh, this glue or just even the bag pressed a little bit for the glue, I guess, until it dries up. So I just did this end or this side actually. Different types of repairs f uh, for this duffel bag. This is a the inside but the outside is pretty much finished up I guess or it needs a little bit more cleaning I have the brush so I got a couple of these you know a, a really small brush and a medium brush and the paint is over there and it's pretty much and then I've got just these other glue spots and even this this uh this bag that I cleaned all the stuff out well, I cleaned all the stuff out and washed the bag, and it's got a really faded side or a faded spot, a couple of faded spots. So I'm gonna try to, uh, you know, you, I could use spray paint or something, but all I have right now is just uh, some just just regular glue, uh, like weatherproofing type of glue, which is fine. Um, and I can't wait to like finish up. One, two, three, and then these just have a little bit of spot to clean up, and this one has a few things, um, but, uh, yeah, um, you know, a lot of these, uh, bags also are going to be stored in a few random places, uh, it just depends what I put in there and also there's just some more stuff that I need to clean up and and you know finish up but uh, really flat and then I'm gonna I, I would actually like put something on top of this like a piece of wood which I probably know where one is and you know turning that handle kind of helps to just direct stuff towards this way so if anything were to fall it's well it's really sturdy now this box so I'm gonna just get a piece of wood I've actually got one right there but uh, maybe there's another piece which is actually right here and kind of put that there so that it's gonna be a really flat surface and and it keeps the box closed and uh, you know there's some paint brushes here and uh, you know, there's some paint brushes here. I found a few more paint brushes. So here's some of my lacquer thinner dipped I also started to dip this thing too. It's gonna be a small like eraser. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping uh, 
but you know it just sits around for now um but i'm you know kind of use it as as a small uh it's a hard bristle basically brush something hard um just in case and i kind of picked up some more of this 91 percent uh these were on sale for like three dollars they're usually 350 they also sell sell like a, a large but this is for my electronic repairs it really comes in handy so you know definitely a good deal and yeah i've got a small little uh like diy organizer and like a hard like i'm actually working on dental stuff so so this is what i have so far i'm gonna need need like a stronger tray um, and also, but what I wanted to try to do is actually, uh, probably blend, uh, the liquid nail with this stuff. I need to file and grind this stuff down into like a small powder or clumps and things. I might, you know, I might even use like a small blender. I've got a bunch of my dental stuff kind of sitting right here. So I'm pretty much prepped to start trying to do a few dental videos and uh, finish sorting out a few things um, with the toolboxes and clearing up some space like uh, there are a few uh, possible thing mold uh, you know just things so so yeah I made these molds and then uh, any extra glue or debris I kind of collected this only just this uh, coconut oil and it's mixed there's some suntan lotion and sanitizer especially uh, you know I had like a, a small bottle of sanitizer and the coconut oil was getting really dried up and stuff so I put the sanitizer with the coconut oil and then I added some sunscreen but I'm going to actually use that to, uh, you know, just start to moisten and lube a few things and eat probably even the liquid nail and things. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys, uh, also, uh, you know, just some stuff I might separate like different, um, different pieces just just depending on their hardness and you know trying to test it to make it close enough to being kind of like a putty so so what's next is actually just filling in I'm actually getting the suit this duffel bag ready for the electronics the small kit but it needs a little bit of touch-up painting and really not that much um, and then I'm going to just turn it into a, a, a pretty useful duffel bag so um, I'm gonna touch up a couple spots and then add cardboard and then I'm gonna sh pretty much have this container and maybe add a um, well I've got other small tools but mainly this container just to help um, sort out and collect stuff when I'm taking it apart and then I kind of saw this so I, uh, yeah it's, go it's just gonna be for my small electronics that d small duffel bag so yeah I guess we get to see this uh, small ceiling job uh, I I just wanted to that's just uh, you know the angle that I'm to you know taking to to make a point so i'll see you guys on the next video so just want to update pretty much these suitcases for now and uh how i'm kind of uh repairing is kind of gluing or sewing them and then i'm touch up painting so thanks for watching my video and um and pretty much try to work on stuff like right here and even over there just in this area I ate a box of donuts which was like four dollars for eight and I could just clean this up and tape it up glue it up all right I'll see you guys later and I forgot to show you guys some of this stuff